Hey YouTube, this is Bharat from Renities LLC. Today we are going to learn how to reset a root password on a Proxmox machine by using the single user mode. It's a very short video, but I hope this helps in times of emergency where most probably your server was hacked or it could be a simple case of you forgetting your password. So uh, let's get started. As you can see, I'm connected to a HTML5 console. Uh, this is a HP based server uh, that comes with the latest uh, IPMI, which supports a HTML console. I'm going to first reset the power. Once I do that, the server is going to reboot itself and I'm going to come to the single user mode. It's taking quite some time, but uh, usually you just have to wait until the boot, uh, the grub screen shows up. So thirty percent complete, forty percent, seventy percent. Okay, so now that we are on the grab, uh, as you can see here, it mentions you press E to edit the commands before booting or C for a command line. So we are going to press E. Now, this is your grab config. Now, if you go down here, uh, you need to look for a line that says that starts with Linux. Yeah, if you see here, this. So it starts with boot, and um, this is the version of the kernel that I want to boot. And the root um, device UUID is mentioned here, and it's read only required. So, what we are going to do here is we are going to go to the end of that line space and type in it is equal to win dash okay and then if you see we have two options one is control x or f10 to boot i'm going with control x once that is done what happens is it's not going to ask us for a user to actually boot into the uh, system we are directly on the system so right now if you see the root i'm in boot 
Okay. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to let me do that. Okay. So now that I'm root, I'm going to say password. I, I'm going to remount it as read and write. Okay, let me bring it a little bit below so that you can read. So mount, we write, remount. Okay, so now we remounted uh, our root partition as read and write. Now we are going to do a password change for the username root. I'm going to set a password of my choice and then I'm going to read it. Okay, so uh, it's not going to let me uh, boot, uh, reboot using this uh, method. So I'm just going to uh, do a reset once again. Make it plain and simple. Okay, we are back into the graph. Uh, we'll just boot normally. Okay, now that we are on the screen. And I'm in. So that's it folks, uh, this was a rather simple way to do it. You can do it in more ways than one. You could actually get a, a rescue disk, a rescue ISO, mount it and then uh, do it that way as well. But uh, this proves to work most of the times and you don't have to depend on any third party ISOs as well. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, have a good day. Subscribe for more. If you want me to cover any specific topics um, like AWS or Linux related ones or any other app deployments such as Laravel, GitPHP, anything open source, do let me know and I'll try my level best to meet your expectations. Thank you.